video, physical, digital, audio, video, physical, digital, audio, video, physical, digital, audio. Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial and today we're going to look at selection statements. So selection statements are a way of sorting out answers. So I've got a question here, what is your favourite cake? And we're going to use a selection statement to give a varied response based on the answer they give us. So we'll start off with, we've got, what is your favourite cake? Now, the way selection statements work is you start with a, an if. So the first thing we're going to check is if something is true. So we write if, and you'll notice it's gone orange because it's a reserved word in Python. So if fav underscore cake. Now, if I put equals, that would just be an assignment operator. I want to know if it's equals, so I type in equals twice. So when we're in Python, if we want to say if is something equal to something, we put equals equals. So if fav cake is equal to, so if I say marble, if it's equal to that, then I want something to happen. And we don't write then, instead we have a colon. So if fav cake is equal to marble, then, and I go down to the next line, and you'll notice it's automatically moved in. That's an indent. And that's because this next section belongs to the if. It only happens if the if statement is true. So if they like marble, I'm going to print uh, that's my favourite too. Okay. Now, if the if isn't true, I might want to check for something else. Now, I've indented again here, so I don't want to indent. I'm going to go down another line, and I'm going to go across. Uh, now, if it's not an if, we say else if. But because when we're writing code, we want to be efficient, we want to use as few characters as possible, and because coders are a bit lazy, we don't write the whole thing. We write L if. So we miss out the SE from L, so we write elif. So elif fav underscore cake equals equals, and let's say this one's angel. And I say then, so I use the colon, it means then. So first check, it's going to check if it's equal to marble. If it's not, it will then check, is it equal to angel? If it is, I'm going to get it to print again. Uh, not a bad choice, but not as good as marble. Oh. Okay. Now, I can have another elif if I want. So I might say elif fav underscore cake equals equals and check for something else so I might look for sponge uh, and then the colon is then and again I'm going to print uh, and I'm not, I'm not sure who'd like sponge cake so I'm just going to reply really with an exclamation mark because it sounds I don't know who would like just sponge cake now, if it checks the if and it's not marble, so if it checks this and it's not marble, it's going to check the elif. And if it's not angel and it checks the next elif and it's not sponge, I might have another elif and another elif, but instead I'm going to get to the end and we have else. So if everything else is not true, it does the elf, it else. It always does the else. And else doesn't take any argument. So I can't say else fav cake equals. Instead, I just say else, then. So if none of the others are true, then do this. And say print. I think you should try marble cake. OK. So there's my selection statements. I've got ifs, elifs, else. Let's run it. Let's give it a test. Oh, I've got an end of file error EOS. So there's something missing off the end. I've missed something. 
I've missed my final bracket. There we go, let's try it again. What is my favourite cake? Well, let's, let's answer marble to begin with. That's my favourite too. Okay, but if I answer it in a different way, if I were to answer angel, not a bad choice, but not as good as marble. So you can see I've got a different output based on my different input. The selection statement has sorted it for me. Let's try answering, answering something that's not on the list. So not marble, not angel, not sponge. Let's go for chocolate. I think you should try marble cake. So because it wasn't any of the things on the list, it did the else. So chocolate is not listed here. It's not one of my options. So it came down to the else and it printed that option there. I hope that's explained selection statements for you and I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.